Hey tubers, Blaze the Fox here with a new video on some recent accomplishments. Well, this book and this book are completely 100% colored. I just finished the last picture in this book. So we're going to go through and show you all of the artwork that's been done in each book. So come along. There's page one of the artwork. Page two. Page three, page four, Now this is done in colored pencils. And then the other book was done in markers. Because I have two of the same book, I decided to do one in colored pencils and one in marker. Just for a little bit of, you know, variety. And you can't make a picture exactly the same, too. So, leave a like, leave a comment. What was your favorite pictures? Were they in markers? Or were they in colored pencils, such as that? I'm always curious to know. This is my little hobby I do it. And it is very soothing to me to come home and color after a rough day. Because being high functioning autistic with Asperger's syndrome. These are my outlet. And it's a good outlet because I show emotions through my coloring. Or depending on what the picture requires. Sometimes I'll do a picture in an hour, hour and a half, depending on how long I want to spend on it. Because some pictures in this book took me some days where I would come, work on it, and then 
take a break, come back hours later, days later, depends. Some days I go weeks without coloring. Depends on, you know, how I feel. Because I do do other activities besides coloring. And friends and family have provided me the books and the utensils I use to color. They give me markers, colored pencils, a pencil sharpener, and whatnot. Now this one was the last picture I colored in the book to finish it. Because it, I used a multiple range of different colors for it. So, it gives me options for coloring. Artwork is very fun, but me, I can't draw, but color, yes I can. <laughs> I'm actually very proud that I've gotten two books done. Now I need to do the others that I have. I'll get them done someday. I'll tell you what, these pictures were not easy at all. But that's what the challenge is. Give yourself a challenge. I challenge myself every day with things. You can achieve anything if you put your mind to it.
you know, I've achieved my goal of finishing two books. That's just, you set yourself a goal. Well, I set mine and I accomplished it. Took me months. the final picture in this book of the colored pencils. Okay, put it off to the side. Now we'll get the other book. Now, I did say that I colored this one in markers. Well, this is the only one I did in colored pencils because I was trying to figure out how I was going to go with this one. So this is the only one in colored pencils. The rest is in marker. And I like how they go to the next uh, page. That's why you use a blank white sheet over the next picture. That way it doesn't bleed. If you notice, the marker book is different than the colored pencils in colors, I mean, that I choose. Like with this one, I didn't color in the moon because it wouldn't have been okay to, in my opinion. I used a combination of regular markers and Sharpies for these. This one in particular took me three days to do because of how it was laid out. 
but I got it done. This one was the first one I started to color. And then the rest followed. <laughs> Quite fun, isn't it? I kind of rushed through a couple of them. I'm not going to lie. But it happens. I love choosing unique colors for the eyes as well when I'm doing ones that have the eyes because make some their own unique one. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? Two different color eyes. That's the way I felt that day. And then there's the last picture in this book. So, tubers, thank you much. Have a great day. Goodbye. Enjoy the video. Please like, 
leave a comment, and subscribe. Who knows what I'll come up with next. Future videos, future live streams, who knows? Peace. Bye.